Hi folks, this is Checkpoint Quiz 9.4. In number one, we're asked to use Pascal's triangle to expand a binomial. So we need to first remember how to construct Pascal's triangle. The first row of Pascal's triangle is 1. The second row is 1, 1. And each row thereafter begins and ends with 1. And the way you get the numbers in the middle is you add the two numbers above. So I start with a 1. I add 1 and 2 to get 3. Add 2 and 1 to get 3. And I end with a 1. I start with a 1. I add to get 4. 6. 4. 1. 1. 5. 10. 10. 5. 1. And so once again, what we're doing is finding the binomial coefficients. So we have this nice symmetry. And since I'm expanding x minus 2y to the fifth power, I stop at this row. The next thing I need to remember to do is to rewrite the difference as a sum. So x minus 2y is the same as x plus minus 2y. And I'm ready to go. So we have two steps. We have the setup and the cleanup. So x uh, minus 2y to the fifth equals, so x plus negative 2y to the fifth equals 1, x to the fifth times this to the 0 power, plus 5, x to the fourth times minus 2y to the first power, plus 10, x cubed times minus 2y squared plus 10 x squared minus 2y cubed plus 5 x to the first power minus 2y to the fourth plus 1 x to the zero power times minus 2y to the fifth. So now we clean up. We're operating under the convention that something to the zero power is 1. Um, we're assuming that x and y are both non-zero to do that. And so I get x to the fifth. And then here I'm going to get a minus 10 x to the fourth y. Here I get a 40 x cubed y squared. Here I get a negative 80 x squared y plus I get an 80xy minus 32y to the fifth. So some things to make sure. Number one, you got to write the subtraction as an addition to get that negative in there. Number two, notice that on each of these terms the exponents always add up to 5. Whoops, which they don't here. I forgot. Do that. So that's a good check. So the exponents always add up to 5. The x's count down from 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, none. The y's count up from none, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also remember that when you square, cube, or fourth power, when you take the negative 2y to the power, you're not only taking y to that power, but the negative 2 to that power. Okay, so those are the common mistakes people make, so it's always worth a quick check. That'll do it for number one. All right, number two, we're asked to find the coefficient of x in the expansion x plus 1 over x squared to the 10th. So there's lots of inefficient ways to do this. Uh, the most efficient way to do this is to make use of the binomial theorem. The binomial theorem says if I want to take a plus b to the nth power, I get a sum of terms. The counter goes j equals 0 to n. n choose j, a to the n minus j power, b to the j power. This tells us exactly what the coefficients and terms are going to look like. So if I use that here, the n equals 10, the a is x, the b is 1 over x squared. So this would be the summation, j goes from 0 to 10 of 
10 choose j, x to the 10 minus j, 1 over x squared to the j power. And what we want is the coefficient of x. So we want x to the first power. So the challenge is to figure out what number j is going to give me the result of x to the first power. So that's how we proceed. So we need to find j so that x to the 10 minus j 1 over x squared to the j is equal to just x to the first power. So I go through using properties of exponents. 1 over x squared is the same as x to the minus 2. Multiply. So I get uh, same bases, add the exponents. I 10 minus j plus negative 2j is 10 minus 3j is equal to x, which is x to the first. I have the same base, so I equate the exponents. 10 minus 3j is 1, or in other words, 3j is equal to 9, which gives me j equals 3. Okay, so when this counter reaches 3, that's when it's going to spit out the x to the first term. Alright, so I go back, j is 3. I plug 3 in, I get 10 choose 3, x to the 10 minus 3, 1 over x squared cubed. So that's 10 choose 3, x to the 7th, times 1 over x to the 6th. which is 10 choose 3 times x. And so the coefficient of x is going to be 10 choose 3. Okay, so what is 10 choose 3? Well, by definition, that's 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 10 minus 3 factorial. So it's 10 factorial over 3 factorial times 7 factorial, which is 10 times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, all the way down to 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, and 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5, all the way down to 1. So remember, in evaluating these binomial efficients, when in doubt, write it out, because you see we've got a lot of cancellation here. I can cancel the 2 into the 8 and get a 4. I can cancel the 3 into the 9 and get a 3. So when it's all said and done, I get 10 times 3 times 4, which is 120. All right, so the coefficient of x is 10, uh, 10 choose 3, which is 120. That'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 9.4.